I'm gonna go ahead and open up. Kala Yahweh, by Hashem, Amashia, Yahweh Shah. Man, that's all honor and glory goes to the Most High God, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, man. That's We're right. gonna deal with it. The Israelites being on top of all the other nations, and we're gonna prove it through scripture. Bring it's it a high up. Accuracy in this thing. Let's grab Deuteronomy 76 first. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Above what? Above all people. No, we the same. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Uh, so we see right now that dealing with the Israelites, that we are above all people that are on the face of the earth. Hierarchy amongst the other nations. So let's get into it. Let's go to Isaiah 2. We just gonna we gonna dive into it to prove this throughout the whole Bible. It, it's not only in Deuteronomy. It's not only in the Old Testament. We're gonna prove it all throughout the whole Bible. That's right. This is Isaiah 2, verse 1. Bring it out. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hill, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Ah, so dealing with that high mountain, we see that in Jerusalem, the, that high mountain will be going into Israel. You're going to find out that we above all nations throughout this whole Bible. Why? Because the Most High has chosen us. He has chosen us to be his holy separate people, to give the laws to the world, to show the world the other nations how to live. Let's go into Isaiah 14, starting verse 16. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 16. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. And it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no way. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, that have no way, there shall be the plague. Well, with the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. All right, so even dealing with this in the kingdom, we see, again, the commandments. We'll be still sacrificing in the kingdom. Other nations will have to bring ovulations to our father, our household, the, the house of, of the Lord, which is Jacob, Israel. We see in the kingdom that even... You so-called Egyptians, y'all want to stay Kimmy and say that that's that high nation. But even the Egyptians will have to come up and sacrifice to the Most High. We above all, we will still be bringing order. That's why we're bringing order out now that y'all will see to come back to the Most High God, Yahweh. Let's get that Amos 9 and 11 and Isaiah 40 and 17. This is Amos 9 verse 11. Bring it out. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen. That they may what? Possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen. That's right. Which I call by, now, by name, saith the Lord, that do it this. All right, so again, we're going to see that they're going to be in possession. The, the heathens, Israel will possess the heathens. And it shows chiefly Edom. That's the first person they spoke of, the first nation they spoke of, which we can see why. Let's go into it, though. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 40 and 17 and 2 Ezra 6 and 54. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. Bring it out. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and in vanity. Oh, we're going to bring the precept proving that, you know, this is not talking about Israel being less than nothing. nothing. I did. Second Ezra 6 and 54. 
Man, we are special people. We are peculiar people. What makes us special, what makes us chosen, the reason why he chose us and separated us, what helped to separate us was the law. That's what makes us holy. That's what separated us from the other nations. That's what puts us on high. So anytime they want to tell you to take these commandments out or not deal with the commandments, man, you can't get around the commandments. That's There's right. no word that we're going to go to the Bible and it is you're done dealing with the commandments. It's hey, not in there. It's not in there at all. Again, even in the kingdom, you're going to keep the commandments. This is 2 Ezra 6, verse 54. Bring it out. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. For our sakes. For our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing. What the Bible say? Thou hast said that they, they are nothing. nothing, but be like unto spittle, and as like unto abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Man, the Most High told Jacob. He loved Jacob. He hated Esau. Every other nation is of nothing. It's a, it's a drop of spittle, so a drop of spittle, a drop of spit, a drop of water. How do you want to look at it? It's nothing. You don't go, if you walking with a bucket of water, and you drop just a drop, you're not going to go back and get that drop. You're going to leave it there because it's nothing. But when it comes to the nation of Israel, we are that entire book of the water. We're not the, we're not the spittle. We're not the little drop to fill. The other nations are. See? This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. Bro. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee, to a strange nation. All right, so we see, dealing with this, we see that we have gained our source of power over to another nation. We have fell into sin, us following the sin, we see that Edom has taken your name. They claim to be the Israelites. They claim to be the Jews. So we didn't gave over. We didn't. We didn't, and then we didn't took up on their heathen customs. We want to deal with what's going on in America and not keep the commandments. We rather keep the laws of America and not keep the commandments of the Lord. A quick point. Uh, going back off of Amos nine, it said to close up the breaches of the house of David. How was the house of David fallen? By not keeping the commandments. That's the only way the house of David is going to be restored. That's the only way the gathering of the people is going to commence. By keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. It says that they may possess the remnant of Edom. Edom possesses you right now because you fell away from the law, statutes, and commandments. The law abided forever. And that's the only way you're going to get out of this predicament. God, that's all I got. Man, the commandments is what set us apart. The commandments is going into salvation. What has us in this in this lowest state? It's sin. What is sin? Breaking God's commandments, man. It's, it's really that simple. We make it hard, and it doesn't have to be. Now, let me get that Matthew 15 and 22. Matthew 15 and 22. Read all the way to 26. This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 22. Read out. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Not sent where? But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Uh, so he was dealing with a Canaanite woman. And she came pleading out to him. But he did not deal with her. He told her that he was only dealing with the house of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Proving that even Christ was dealing with Israel being on above. Hey, and what I was going to say is, he just read it in Baruch 4 and 1 where it told us not to give that which profitable 
unto another nation. And how was y'all was saying the same thing, basically? Uh, our Lord, who y'all call sweet Jesus, is even proven that he wasn't dealing with the other nations. He was dealing with the house of Israel. He wasn't dealing with this Canaanite woman. He told he told her to get away. He told her that he, it's not meat to feed dogs the bread from the children of Israel. So proven that he was even dealing with us being above all nations. But they don't want to deal with that. He told, he told even the, the, the disciples told him Christ to send her away. Let's get uh, Zechariah 14 and 21. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 21. Bring it Yay! Every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and see therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. Ah, dealing with this Canaanite woman, Christ is even speaking the same of Zechariah. He knew that it would She's not of the house of Israel, so he don't have to deal with her like an Israelite. But y'all want to place everybody in this salvation. Y'all want to y'all want to place everybody in making it into this kingdom in the, in, in the same stat, statue of you going to be in. No, you're going to be a, above other nations. That's you're right. going to be greater in the kingdom, but you want to place them above you. You want to save everybody but yourself. Save yourself. Let's get these commandments. Let's believe in Yahweh. Let's have faith in Yahweh Shah, man. Let's do right. Y'all yeah. letting them take our seats, man. Let's get a uh, get one. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 2, and verse 6. Bring it out! And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. That's what? That's what? Move my people, Israel. Alright, man. You gotta, you gotta move. You gotta move separate than this, than these other nations. We gotta move totally different of what the heathen is doing out here, man. Totally different, man. We should be separate in every single way, man. It should be no error in you walk as you keeping the commandments. You walking in the ways of the Most High. This is Isaiah 45, verse 14. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabaeans, men of stature, shall come over thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee, and chains shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. Verily there are... A God that hideth thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. But who? But, but Israel, Israel shall, shall be, be saved, saved in the Lord, Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Ah, going into these other nations, it's, again, we just... Showing you how we're going to possess them. Showing that you're going to be on a statue above them. You're going to be higher than them. We're higher than them. We have to come back to our righteous estate, man. We got to come back to these commandments, man, so we can be placed uh, right where we're supposed to be. We're supposed to possess the land. We're supposed to be mighty, a mighty nation where the other nations look upon us. But yet we choose to, choose to be in sin and be the tail and not the head, man. We got to, we got to come back to these commandments. Let's get that Isaiah 60 and 10. It's Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. Bring it out! Surely the isles shall wait for me as the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God to and to the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of the strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath will I smoke thee, but, but in my favor have I made mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, 
and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. That's right. That's right. Man, we got faith that the same people, the same nations that's afflicting us, guess what? They're going to be under our servitude. We're going to possess them. We have faith in that. We also know that these other nations have no, their gods are idols. We have the one true living God, which everybody is going to worship. Everybody going to worship in that time of day. Let's get, uh, let's go to Malachi 1 and 2, read all the way to verse 4, and then let's get Obadiah 1 and 18. Now we're going to possess them. Hey, what's up, brother? Man, you busy? You busy? Man, it seems like I know you from somewhere, man. Hey, you want to come right here? Come over here. I'm, I'm just talking about what you believe in the Bible. Uh, uh, what's your name? You stand in front of me? Y'all just said you can look at us. All we doing, we on camera, we on camera and things. Just turn so we can face you, look in your eyes like a man. That's it. You know, we don't want no bother with your brother. You know what I'm yeah. Uh, uh, what's your name? Rico. Rico? Yeah, I know you from somewhere, Rico. You, you remember me? I can't remember, but your face is real familiar. Man, uh, have you ever heard of Hebrew Israelites? You believe in the Bible? Somewhere, what got you skeptical of the Bible? As you grow? Okay. So, I got a question for you. How do us as a whole nation of people, how do we get out of this worst condition? Would you say that we in bad conditions like poverty, we hate each other? How do we get out of this condition from your growth? From the you do this thing? Yeah. Get that Zephaniah 2 and 1. That's right. Uh, can I can y'all give me that second chronicle from 714. I will agree with that. We we'll agree with that. And also, can somebody get that Ecclesiastes 12 and 13? The Bible say what you just said, right? So we agree with that. But it's also a few things that we want to make sure that you did before you smash off, man. That can help you with your walk and your growth. It helped all of us. Let's get First thing I'm going to get is what you said, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 1. It's the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Go. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather, gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. Yay. Gather together, O nation not desired. I ask you, dude, what, what nation do you think is not desired? What people in America is not desired? All race. Yeah, we're getting closer to the time Well, I say, what in history, in American history, what race has been mistreated the most? If we, if we go that route. In American history. Well, American The first thing is history. Once we go into history, we study history, we see that our last names were changed. Why? Because we went up under slave masters. They gave us their last names. That's proven in history. Then, second, we can still see to this day that your last name is of theirs. You're never going to find a white man's last name that's uh, 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 one of our last names, a Hebrew, Hebrew last name. Uh, Hebrew. 
You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. Well, what we were we, we saying, multiple names, we're not going to find a white man with our last name is what we're telling you. Because they never been, they ain't been in servitude up under there. Prove it. Give me one. Give me one. That's a white man's last name, brother. Where did the black man get that last name from? From the white slave master. That's what we're trying to tell you. Where okay. the white people get the name from? From themselves. So you don't think you get our names from ourselves too? No. We, we was took from the west coast of Africa, brought over here to America, and they gave us their last They beat our names from us and gave, gave us their names. That's oh. proven in history. Uh, I can't say that because I never read that story. Hey, you know about the story of Kuta Kente? Uh, elaborate. Alright, so Kuta Kente was a slave. He ran away. And when they brought him back to the plantation, First when they brought him to the plantation, they beat him back. And they was telling him in the story, in the, in the, in the video, they was telling him your name is Toby, which is an English name. Well, but he kept, they kept they wanted him to say his name was Toby, but he would never say it. So what we see in that is they was trying to beat his heritage from him because Tuta Kente is a uh, Hebrew name. But yeah. they were trying to make him take on an English name, which the brother trying to show you. Even your last name. Your last name came from a Spaniard, a Spaniard, white man, uh, Indian, and it didn't come from a Mexican. I'm, I'm telling you. If you sit down with me, I'll show you in history. I'm telling you, I know. In history, we can prove it in history. They spell out the name, man. It, it, take, a, it take a whole, it, it, you spell it out, bro. Hey, bring out that piece of I got it. This is Isaiah. 65. This is Isaiah 65 verse 15. This is Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So what this is showing is that there was a group of people that had a last name of their own, that God gave them their own name. And they were left for the curse because they went and started, uh, they became slaves of another people, right? So I don't know, I don't know a lot of your history, so I'll have to ask you, um, you are you Hispanic? Yeah, you're, you're Puerto, what's your father? I don't know. Yeah, I Did don't you know say? Okay, so. You don't know. Okay, so we have to go. We don't really know how we can go off of that, so we have to go based off what? Puerto Rican one? Egyptian and native. So the, we know the Puerto Ricans and the natives were conquered by a people. That's just in history. You can go. At what school did you go to? So uh, we, we just said uh, our, Orlando, a lot of our people just celebrated a thing called Thanksgiving, right? The Spanish and Portuguese. So if you're going to these, these people right here, colonize your people. Is that Puerto Rican? Port of Riches, that's what Puerto Rican means, Port of Riches. They colonized your people and gave y'all the language Spanish. They gave y'all these different names. Right. So that's what we're trying to show you. Right. We're not trying to go against you, we're just trying to help you in, like you said, Matias is a boy named a Hebrew organ.
show you what we see God telling them. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. This is Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and fear God. Fear God. Fear God, do what? 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 Fear God, do because all I did, whatever my stomach tells me to do. That's not how the Most High gets down. He doesn't that? get down like that? that. And we can prove it in the Bible. The Who Most High that? is proving it Who in the Bible. That? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, and verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. This is this is Ezekiel chapter three verse seventeen. Bring it out, son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear my word at my mouth and give the warning from me. Do what? Give the warning. Me. Do what? Give the warning from me. That's what we out here doing. We're giving people warnings. You can't just run around here doing what you want to do. We have to come back to the most high. We have to come back to the commandments of God. That's right. We can't just go out here and deal how we want to deal. Why? Because the heart is deceitful above all things. When you can't just run around. If, you're not, if the most high is not telling you to keep the commandment, then that most likely is not the most high dealing with it. Because the most high is not going to tell you, hey, just live how you want to live. He's going to tell you you have to live according to the laws of God. You have to fear him. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. No, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Man, if any brother is leaning on their own understanding, going off their own heart, not dealing with the Bible, the most high not dealing with you. Hey, what the scriptures say, first John chapter two, it tell you that if you're not keeping the most high commandments, then you a liar. If you're not keeping the most high commandments, the Bible say you a liar. That's right. The Bible say you a liar. That's what it is. We're not dealing with nothing else. We're not dealing with nothing else. That's why our people so destroyed. We don't even know who we are. Hey, the most I said, we rejected him and his knowledge and his laws, so he gonna reject us. And we see where it get us. And we see where it get us. It don't get us nowhere. It don't get us nowhere. It don't get us nowhere. That's why we fear God and keep his commandments. That's the only way. It ain't no other way. It ain't no I know what in my heart. None of that. None of that. It's either the Bible, it's either the Bible say this or it don't. And you gonna get down with that or not? It's either you believe in the Bible or you don't. You can't say I believe in it somewhat. You gotta believe in it wholeheartedly. Every single word in the Bible we believe in. We have faith in this entire Bible. And we know it says come together. It don't, we know it says be meek. But we also understand that we can line the Bible up with history. We can line the Bible up with reality. You know what I'm saying? And if you really want to come together, it's a way to deal with each other. It's a way to deal with each other. That's why we're going to show meekness and patience. Bring it out. Man. 
This is First John chapter four, verse one. Bring it out. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Do whether, it. But try the spirits. But do what? But try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Oh, the mic. Oh, the box. Hey, it say you gotta try the spirit. Anytime these scriptures come out, that's us trying people's spirit. That's right. That's us trying people's spirit to see if get on uh, Romans 8 and 16. Alright, because I was going to deal with the brother and show him <laughs> what, where that name came in at and where they got the name from. But, you know, he wanted to jump the gun because he wanted to take over the show, but it's not how he brought it. Go ahead, bring it out. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Bring it out. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. The spirit itself, it got to bear witness with the children of God. Come on. That we are the children of God. That's how you're going to know who the children of God are. That's how you're going to know who chosen. If they spirit bear witness with the truth. If the spirit bear witness with the truth. And he said he don't he don't need the Bible. He's not dealing with that. He don't need that. There's no Your spirit not bearing witness with the truth. Because this is the truth. Every word of God is pure. Hey, give me um, give me Psalm 12 and 6. Hey, it's crazy how you can see things, how it's going to manifest before it do. And also, we can see, we see the spirit that he had. Now, like we say all the time, don't be a feminine. As soon as he didn't get his way, that's what women, that's what those kids do. Well, I'm gone. Oh, man, you can't deal with us. Stuff ain't always going to go your way. Have patience on the opposite of that end, just like we got patience with you. The conversation didn't go exactly how we wanted to go, but we didn't automatically jump into emotions and stop being a feminist and just have patience with us like we have patience with y'all. So, like this. so we seen the spirit of the brother walking out here in the weather. We know, no, 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 no. We already know that's, that's almost very important. We know brothers is in a situation today to where they can't always afford certain things. So, but the brother is out here in the rain like it's not raining. He in the rain like it's not raining. Captain DeVar asked him a good question. He said, but is it working though? He, he said, said, he said, yeah. yeah. Right? He was like, he said, uh, 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 what do you get, to, what does your God tell you? Is it working? He know it's not working. He know it's not working. Hey, he, that's why DeVar didn't he, say another word. And he looked at him right. dead in his eye. The dude looked, looked at him dead in his eye and said, yeah, yeah, it's working. It's not working. It's, like, brother, it's, Ours is working. it's not going to work. Don't you know we can see you? <laughs> don't you know we know the Bible? And it's like, we <laughs> tried it your way. It don't work. It don't work. We tried it. We've been down there, we, bro. It's not even, we experienced it, bro. What, your way don't work. Right. I promise you, this is the only way that works. It's that way. It was like, don't we know, don't you know we can see you? We can see right. you. <laughs> and it's like, if you would have just been patient long enough, we would have gone help you. So I had him I had on my mind, like, you know, I'm going to give this man his back. And then you, Arr, I am calm, bro. You're not calm. Calm down, bro. Oh, man, I, I've been in them churches. Calm down, bro. It's not working, bro. Man, that was, that was mad. He was persuaded in that, too. It looked like he was trying to really believe that. He was. You know what that was? He just didn't want to um, put away no pride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He just didn't want to put away no pride. Bring that out. John chapter 17, verse 17. Bring it out. Sanctify them through thy truth. So we sanctify them. With the truth, come on. Thy word is true. Thy what? Thy, thy word, word is true. true. Thy what? Thy, thy word, word is true. true. Thy word is true. Right. You don't got your own truth. It's not about your truth. His truth. Your whole thing was everybody need to be be together. Why you got your own truth? That makes zero sense. How you got your own truth and everybody's supposed to be one and get together? That's kind of what he was coming with. We all were slaves. Show me Esau being slaves. Show me that. Show me that. They never been slaves. Never. Hey, his mind is compromised if he really believed that. He think just because Esau works right now that Esau is slave. That's not the case at all. Guess what? When we look at the when we look at any dollar bill or any currency, guess what we see? The white man on it, the slave master on it. We don't see no Negro on that. I think they just tried to put a Negro on it with Harry and And that ain't even a a a a foreign court. We are the worst of the worst, man. They benefit for, from our servitude. They benefit from us being slaves. And this this is a prime example of us. Like people always ask, ask and 
Like, what's the key to us getting out of uh, the predicament we're in? Go back to the commandments. That's the basics. Leviticus 19, verse 17. Bring it up! Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Read it again! Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now that disrespect that you saw, he will never display display that amount of disrespect to the other nations. You is not gonna walk up to no Jehovah's Witness and snatch the mic. Hey, you ain't gonna never see no nigga do that. Walk up to a Jehovah's Witness and uh, snatch their papers or snatch the mic from them. You will never see that. This is the key. This is how we get out of predicament. This so called this white man's book that's supposed to control you. How is the white man's book when he's contrary to everything that's in it? This is what's going to fix us. This is why we destroy it, because we fell away from it. Straight up. Hey, so hey, yesterday, uh, uh, last night, or this morning, right, we went over a uh, hey, podcast, Iron Council, Sons of Jacob. Like and subscribe. You know, right? Iron Council, I'm trying to get the plug. Right? I'm trying to get the plug. But uh, last night, we went over uh, this exact same thing, mental illness. Mental illness. This is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with mentally ill people. The brother come up here and he want us to believe what he believes that he okay. That what he doing is working for him. And he walking in the rain with no coat on. And it's cold outside. And this is what we supposed to believe. This is a mentally ill. This is the doctor we supposed to hold on to. Yeah, we mentally ill people, man. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Straight up, we just, just right, right. walk in and body with the bit. Curses for your mental to be like that, man. The first thing he said was, we we'll have to come together. Hey, it felt like it was going to be a good conversation, but it got shaky real fast. They got shaky real fast. Because us coming together with, with him only dealing with himself. So, you know, we were to come together. What, what happened to that proverb you spit when you first came up? When he left, said he was against us, so I don't know. So, like, uh, we was listening on the way here to uh, Deacon Destruction. He was talking about how, what's his dude's name? Charles White. White. Charles White. Charles White. Bro was hypocritical, bro. He, he didn't believe in God. Then he believed in God. He didn't believe what we was doing. But he was talking about they didn't rob a woman. They didn't take a white woman back. Tried to mislead us. What are you saying? Why y'all didn't go slap that yeah, white yeah, yeah. woman? Why y'all didn't rob? What sense does that make? But you claim that you're a community leader. Right. But you want us to go slap the white woman right. and rob some people? Hey, and then, I, then he said that he pulled the gun. He pulled the gun on one of his own people. He did. Yeah, he, uh, Bro, we supposed to follow that. We're supposed to follow you, though. But then, yeah. in one breath, like Dickie said, one breath, you don't want to believe in the God that cursed them for 2,000 years, but you want to believe in the God uh, that cursed Adam. Yeah, he cursed all of you. Like, yeah, that was longer. Yeah, 5,000 years, 2,000 years, like, he was just, he was just a hypocrite. Well, if you watch the man long enough, man, he double talk, double yeah. That's why we can't follow none of these gatekeepers. He's a gatekeeper. Right. He's another gatekeeper. He just came out of nowhere. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Bro. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. We know he's a liar, man. We see it in his works, man. It's the same person who will tell you that you're supposed to go against the white man, but then you will see him in the pictures with nothing but five, ten white police officers that just killed a Negro. He's the same man that's telling you to go against them, but he's really for the white man, and he's against you. He's the same. <laughs> Something we got to understand always. Yeah, it's hey, the podcast we did last night <laughs> was accurate. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, prepare us for the day. <laughs> prepare us for the day. Mentally ill is, man. Mentally ill. Huh? We got to come back to these commandments to get wisdom and understanding because we can see that these gatekeepers, they want to mislead us and keep us in servitude, keep us in poverty, keep us getting murdered. That's what they want to keep us in instead of 
these same people, ain't none of them telling us to keep the commandments. But the brothers who's telling, rebuking the nation and telling us to keep the commandments so we can get back in place, the whole, our, our own people are going against them, though. Well, again, that's why I keep saying that they gate people. They want to keep us in a, in a docile state of mind. They want to keep us robbing, raping, and murdering what the heathen did. They want to keep us in them custody. They don't want to help us because that same Charleston White, he'll tell you, he's all for the money. He's not for the people. He's for the bag. <laughs> he ain't for the people. He gonna, that's why he double speak like that. Mm -hmm. We'll get back in the lesson. So let's get um, Malachi chapter 1, verse 4, Obadiah 1 and 18. We'll do a few more. Let's go to the Bible. Let's go to Hey, hey, man, you really do need to be a special person to be out here to deal, to try to bring order to all these different types of spirits. Like, the most high, he definitely know what he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Because he raised up the strong to help the weak, you know what I'm saying? And this is what's happening. The most high, he definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant, beautiful move. Hey, uh, just like the Ike brought out, what's that wisdom of Solomon y'all brought out earlier in chapter 8? That, that virtue... You learn that from different things that you've been through. I'm right here. For me to bring it out. For me to have any patience, I had to go through a lot of things to find that virtue, that patience. Bring it out. Man. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter eight and verse seven. Bring it out. And if a man love righteousness, his labors are virtues, for she teacheth temperance and prudence and justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. Hey, that's just... oh, I was going to say, even dealing with the brother that was in front of us, until the Most High gave us that virtue, that patience, that temperance. Well, it could have got ugly back in the day right there, just from the, the, you know, him flaring up like that back then. Those was, those was, I'm ready, I'm ready for war when you do all that. That's where my mind goes. So we know that the Most High dealing with us with wisdom because he give us patience, temperance, that virtue that we didn't have at first because I was zero to a hundred back in the day. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, King. But yeah, um, I remember Captain DeBar going and he was, he was saying, man, that to see our people like that, it's a sad, it's a sad situation to see your people like that. How confused and messed up they are. How, how they don't know really what love is, right? Stockholm Syndrome. That's what we went over. Iron Council podcast. <laughs> Jacob, <laughs> Check it out. It's a disease. It's a mental illness, right? Like we, like we really, hey, it said, it said that. Uh, it said, it said the second one, the second definition was like. Uh, it said they, somebody with Stockholm syndrome, will uh, attack the person that's trying to help them, and that's what we see. We're trying to help them get them out of the mental illness that they're in. And they're attacking. Right. That's, that's what dogs are doing. They're trying to help them. They're badly beaten. They're trying to help them. They attack anybody that's around them. So they're trying to be beat. Too bad. Yeah, he didn't even stay for the blessings that he could have received. The blessing of his word that would have washed him, healed him, and put him on a straight path. He didn't stay for that blessing. He also didn't stay for the blessing that we could have gave him to help him through being cold and rain. We could have gave him a jacket. You know, he was, you know, he, he let his, his emotions get the best of him, man, but that's a disease like I just going into, man. Stockholm Syndrome, you want to you wanna go against us and harm us, and we're trying to help you, but when a white man, the police come in, you want to help, you know, you don't want to fight him, you're going to go straight in the hand, cuz, yes, sir, no, sir, and he ain't, he don't have nothing but ill intent for right. you in his heart, though, right. but we want to help you. This is Isaiah chapter 3, or Isaiah chapter 1, verse 4. Yeah. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. Going into sin, going into iniquity, man, we become stricken with these different, we get smitten with all these different plagues. One of them being the plague of, of of our people when it comes to our mental estate, man. You know what I'm saying? This is a spiritual battle, man. We're not fighting uh, carnally, man. We're fighting a spiritual battle, man. 
uh, principalities of these worlds, man. We see the different demons coming up, but we understand that there's spirits that have been placed on them to come against us because they're not keeping the commandments. They don't believe in Yahweh. They don't have the faith in Yahweh's God. That's why he has his, his own God. That's why he said that his head is his head. He said ain't Yahweh, his head ain't Yahweh's God. His head is his head, and that's what he said. So we can see why he's at her smitten with madness. Man, man. Uh, empty bottle of milk at us for no reason. <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, but uh, hey, that scripture that Isaiah uh, 1 and what was it, 3? Yeah. Hey, um, Tahoam, he gave a beautiful breakdown by telling us how uh, the head being the tribe of Judah and how the tribe of Judah is, is sick. And we, we we are the ones that are in, that are that have one of the biggest influence on the Come in we have some of the biggest influence on the people and because we are sick and we have that influence, we're influencing other people in that sickness too. You want to touch on that? Yeah. Uh, Judah being, okay, Judah being the head tribe, that's the head. So that's the tribe that was uh, targeted the most. So we're the most gone in the head, the mental illness, the Stockholm syndrome, the loving your oppressor is on us the most. So you got, uh, you know, Northern Kingdom, they got brotherhood down, but us is more prominent. You know, dude, already uh, 2854 is more prominent within us. That's why you hear black on black crime. It's more of a thing within Judah because the head is sick. Wow. Our head is going the most. Hey, I, I see it in uh, Ephraim, uh, Ephraim too, and that's where he was. <clears throat> he said he Puerto Rican, so I can see it in that and them too. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't, he couldn't receive us telling him his name was a curse. You know, just being Puerto Rican, man, that's a Puerto Rican, man. That was a name given from the people who put you in a person. Like, that wasn't your original name. Like I said, if you would have sat here long enough, he would have got a, he would have received a blessing. Right. This, this living word, this living water would have washed him, man. It would have right. renewed his mind. It would have helped him with his journey that he said he was on. That's another, uh, 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 something to see that how people be throwing their blessings away, man. Yeah. The blessing could be right in your face, right there in front of you, bro. Hey, the blessing is so close. You got his phone, and he trying to get his phone back. You know what I'm saying? Like he's you trying to get his phone back. Brother won't even give you your phone back. Like he trying to show you something. He trying to bless you, man. He, he ain't receiving. I just said I can't even remember who I had this conversation with, but I, I said the Most High will always open the door for you, but you gotta walk through it. Right. If right. you don't walk through it, then he just opened up a door. Right. You still got to walk through that door, right. man. Still got you. Still got it. Just like a blessing. The blessing and the curse, man. To even receive that blessing, you got to walk a certain type of way to get that blessing. You keep on receiving that blessing. That's right. Man. And you got to keep the commandments to receive that blessing. Man. And it's just that simple. You know what? We're going we to drop it. So let's, we're going to get to the lottery. And let's, let's get up. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Titus 2 and 14 and 1 Peter 2 and 9. Revelation 7 and 4. This is Deuteronomy 14 verse 2. Bring it out. For thou art an only people unto the Lord thy God. Right. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. So that's all we were about to show him. We were about to show him how his name is a curse. He comes back to being a Hebrew Israelite. Then he will see that then he's a peculiar people. He must come back to the Most High. The Most High is telling him to be separate. Come back to his commandments. Fear me. You know, that's what these precepts are going to. That's why we're above other nations because he consecrated us. He made us special. He made us special because he gave us uh, his laws, his commandments, his statutes to us to separate us from the other nations so the nations will look upon us to see his glory. It's all about showing his glory, how he's. He is the most high God, and they have their own gods, which are idols. But he didn't want to stay for that blessing. He didn't want to stay for that blessing. Let's get that uh, Titus 2 and 14. Or 1 Peter 2 and 9. 1 Peter 2 verse 9. Bring it up. For ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a particular people, that ye should shoot forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Man, like I said, when I first when we first saw, I said this wasn't just an old testament concept. This concept is from the old to the new. We still that peculiar people. We still Israel is still that chosen nation. We above all other nations from the old testament to the new testament. When you go into the 
old covenant to the new covenant. It's only dealing with the Israelites. We are that peculiar people. We are that special people. We are that set apart people. But we have to live accordingly. And to live accordingly is to fear the most high and keep his commandments. Bring it out. Titus 2. This is Titus 2, verse 14. Bring it out. Who, I didn't get Revelation 2 and 20. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Yeah, like I said, man, we see this all through the Bible. This is not just one ordeal, man. Even in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Yahweh, Shai Yahweh, in the kingdom, what we will be doing is keeping the commandments and we will be above other nations. They will be our possessions, man. Because why? We are that set apart people. We are that special people. We are the chosen people. That's uh, right. Give me that uh, Revelation 2. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. Bring it And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as a vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Fine, right, so man, the key is to overcome to the end, to endure to the end. The only way you can endure to the end is to fear the Most High, have faith in Yahweh Shah by keeping these commandments, walk in them, meditate in them day in and day out, man. We have to keep the commandments. We have to come back, man. From Yasharala, we must come back together. God, God, God. Revelation 7, man. We're going to find out with this for 7 and 4. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 7 and verse 4. Bring it out. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed, and 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. The tribes of the children of who? The tribes of the children of Israel. Of who? Israel. Again, man, dealing with it. Man, we all, the nation of Israel will be set on high, man. The chosen is from the, from the tribes of Israel, the chosen people, the 144,000. It's of Israel. It's not of no other nation. We will rule over them. They will be our possessions. Man, y'all got anything else? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We'll go ahead and close out, man. Kala Yahweh. Ba'ashim. 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 Ba